Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pets Genetics Challenge, where we are going to be mixing and matching all sorts of different animal genes in order to create curious crossbreed creatures. And today we are going to be celebrating about wolves! Because, oh my gosh, if there is one thing that y'all cannot get enough of on our channel, it is definitely wolves. Wolves, warrior cats, horses, and dinosaurs. Those are the four things that prop up our entire pixel biology world. Uh, of course, wrapped in some wonderful storytelling and all sorts of other adventures too. But since Wolf Quest has now actually released the pups, the wolf pups are now available in Wolf Quest 3 so that we can finally adventure in the beautiful, entirely new world with the amazing new litters of wolf packs that we can have. I'm so excited, mostly because when we have our very first litter of wolf pups in Wolf Quest 3 today, we will get to see how you have a random number of babies. I think it's anywhere from like one to seven puppies. I hope it's not seven because that would be really hard to keep all of them alive. But I'm very excited about that. I know you guys are very excited about that. And talking about the wonders of wolves got me kind of curious about what would happen if we crossbred a ton of wolves. So over the next week, you are going to be seeing a lot of wolf crossbreeds. So put those suggestions of what you would like to see mixed and matched in our genetics laboratory down in the comment section below. And I hope you guys are ready to join me as wolf researchers as we follow this wolf Nightlight. And Nightlight is actually believe it or not, one of the wolves that we have had in our very long running Wolf Quest legacy. Y'all can definitely check that out if you would like to see lots of wolfy adventures. But Nightlight left a very sweet comment saying, you upload so many videos a day. Do you ever take time for yourself? And don't worry, Nightlight, I am working even more on that. That's actually a New Year's resolution to relax, to not stress as much, to just be able to chill and enjoy some of our adventures which we have 9,000 of uh, myself and just kind of, you know, unwind. And I've been having a great time doing that with my husband lately. So thank you very much for your concern. You are going to be one of these glorious gray wolves, one of the main species of wolf that you can actually find through North America. And you, Nightlight, are going to be the one that we are tracking today as we combine your genes here in our lab with Sophia and Sophia, Welcome, welcome. You are going to be an African wild dog today. And I love working with the African wild dogs because they are so fascinating in real life. They have extremely complex ways of communicating with each other with different yips and barks. They take care of a whole bunch of babies. African wild dog puppies, there's a lot of them. We're talking about like maybe having anywhere from one to seven wolf pups, seven being extremely unusual, four being much more common. Well, yeah, when it comes to the African wild dog pups, you can sometimes have more than a dozen. What on earth? Like, how can they manage that? And the answer is that the African wool or the African wild dogs, there we go. We might have some African wolves in just a second here with the crossbreeding. But the African wild dogs actually live in huge family groups. They keep all their extra kiddos, mostly their sons, around and they help to hunt down more creatures and share the food with the young. So it's not just a pair of parents taking care of the puppies, it's the whole freaking pack. And that is one of the reasons I love the African wild dogs. And you can actually see many of our African wild dogs if you dive into our planet zoo, the wonderful Sahula Sand Safari it, 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 like edition, <laughs> where there's so many giraffes. Oh my gosh, I miss those giraffes. And I miss our wild dogs. We'll definitely be seeing them soon. But all right, now that we have introduced you guys to both of these two. Oh, and by the way, Sophia, I think that a corgi and a griffin or a dragon and a pit bull sound like amazing mixes to do in the future. Corgi and griffin, come on. If you guys want to see a corgi griffin, definitely let me know in the comments because that sounds, I just, I have to see that. A fluffy corgi griffin. Yes, please. But all right, now that you guys have your lab coats on, you've been introduced to the animals, it's time to go ahead and mix and match these genes. So we'll take a little DNA sample from Nightlight, a little DNA sample from Sophia. We're gonna break out those Petri dishes and we're gonna see what their puppies look like when we put them together. <laughs> all right, Nightlight, we're gonna have you come over here. We're gonna have Sophia come over here. <gasps> we have a little African wild dog. Woo! This is so exciting. Now in The Sims 4, you don't really see their unique coats, but in real life, the African wild dogs actually have coats that are as unique as fingerprints, which is just so cool to me. Pretty much every dog uh, like is going to have a unique looking coat 
more or less some of them look pretty identical but i just think that's so cool that the the african wild dog aka the painted wolf or the painted dog pardon me ends up having like really like a canvas like they're a canvas that dna and genetics just paints different patterns onto and that is so much fun to me all right but in sims 4 they're gonna look a little similar but we can definitely pretend anyway i'm clearly very excited this morning let me go ahead and pull up one of your guys' names from the random comments generator. And this is actually going to be Blank after Blank the Raccoon. Blank, welcome. I apologize that you're not actually a raccoon here in our laboratory, but you are going to be a very friendly, independent, adventurous, young African wolf pup, which is pretty exciting. And we'll go ahead and see what you look like in just a minute when you grow up. I wonder if we're going to have the big paws and the fluffy body of the wolf or if we're going to have this more lean look of the African wild dog. It's going to be so much fun to see. All right, let's go ahead and get the next Petri dish puppy ready. Ooh, that is a very pretty mix. Holy cow. Somebody's doing that as a side project in the lab today, huh? We'll take a little peek. Very lovely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is definitely a dog I could see a lot of you guys wanting to take home. So we're going to need to do some more wolf mixes to try to get pretty, pretty dogs like that. All right, Sophia, we'll put your jeans back in. Oh, we have another African wolf, yay! All right, let me pull up the random comment generator to see who this is gonna be. And this is actually gonna be Puggle. Oh, we should breed some Puggles sometimes. And Puggle, you suggest mixing a pug with a tiger. You know what? We need more pug lovers in our comment section because I don't see pugs popping up that often in our suggested crossbreeds. Definitely give me some good pug mixes, friends. Now for Puggle, you're actually going to be a hairy troublemaker who's stubborn. Wow. I think you pretty much got all of the really stubborn genes. So you're going to be the handful in this little like a bunch of puppies for sure. However, I'm sure that's just going to give you even more personality as you grow up. All right, next Petri dish. Doesn't it feel cool to feel like you're in a lab? It just really brings back so many memories of being in like university labs and dealing with the Petri dishes and all of the organization that we did. Oh, I love organizing things. <gasps> we have a wolf pup this time who looks like I think it is actually going to end up with the African dog ears and eyes. Though they have very similar eyes. I wonder what color like wolves, gray wolves have for their eyes and African dogs have for their eyes. That's a good question. And this is actually going to be P.O.R. Tree. P.O.R. Tree, welcome. All right, P.O. Three. I hope I somewhat uh, pronounced that mildly correct. <laughs> and you, little P.O., are going to not be able to produce wool. Somebody is trying to mix something into the... And come on, guys. Look, we'll deal with a sheep soon. A wolf and a sheep actually sound really amusing. You know, wolf and a sheep's clothing. I think we've done that before, but we can always do it again. Okay, come on, you guys! We cannot have the puppy produce wool! Or a milk! Y'all, or wool again! Okay, Pio, you really, really, really wanted to produce wool. Somebody was trying to mix your genes with a sheep. That's very rude. We have lab procedures to follow, friends. You are going to be a couch potato who is playful and vocal. So you probably play and just bark and then wear yourself out and fall asleep, and you basically sound like my sister's dog. <laughs> All right, welcome to the family, Bio. Also, a pit bull with a wolf. Huh. You know, that would actually be pretty interesting. And we did request different wolf mixes, so that might be one of the upcoming mixes for sure. All right, let me put down wolf and pit bull on my handy dandy little notepad that I always carry with me because you never know when inspiration might strike. And another beautiful, beautiful potential puppy from Nightlight. Mixing those genes with Sophia again. And we have another African wolf pup. Yay! All right, let me pull up the random name from the random comment generator. And this is actually going to be Nightfires. What a name. Wow. Nightfires, welcome, welcome. You don't have any wool genes, thank freaking goodness. But you are going to be jumpy, a hunter, and a sleuth. So I think you're going to be able to use a little bit of that intelligence from both the wolf and the African dog side to lead your pack on some excellent hunts. Something tells me you're going to be pretty highly ranked by the end of it. And you suggest a whole bunch of things. Oh my gosh, a wolf and a clouded leopard, a caracal and a coyote, an ocelot and a tiger, a clouded leopard and a snow leopard, a munchkin cat and a cheetah. That would be a little tricky for me to pull off, but you know, you're giving me a lot of great ideas. I'm actually going to 
put all of those ideas in a rabbit and a Scottish fold. Holy cow. Those are some excellent suggestions. If you guys like any of those, let me know because those sound fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay, we're almost done mixing all of the little Petri dishes. I'm all pulled up. And now, oh, this is a cute dog. Wow. Nightlight, who did you like mix your jeans on this little side experiment with? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to try some pretty like unusual dog breeds and wolves because I think we could get up some very interesting results. Good side project, whoever's doing that one. All right, next is another painted wolf pup. And this is actually going to be fun. After Five Nights at Freddy's fun time. And Five Nights at Freddy's, you say a cat and a deer, eh? Well, I won't be able to do a small cat due to the limitations of The Sims 4, but I can definitely prepare for you something special with our big cats, Nadir. And you are also going to be a stubborn hunter who's adventurous. So fun, I think you're going to rise in rank of the pack pretty quickly because unlike some of your siblings, you are going to be focused on helping with the hunt. Excellent, excellent. All right, and then let's go ahead and pull up the last of the Petri dish puppies. <gasps> Oh no, this one's so beautiful, you guys! Who is this? Who is this? This is just so beautiful! Nightlight! Oh! Okay! You know, looks change sometimes when you grow up. <laughs> I don't know who this is a crossbreed with, but I absolutely love it! Like, look at their eyes! Okay, you know what? We're going to do something a little bit special. This is actually White Wolf, by the way. Okay. White Wolf, you're going to actually be a side puppy. I normally don't do these side puppy projects and stay focused, but come on. You are hairy, energetic, and you are a hunter. And we're actually going to go ahead and save you into Gray Wolf, uh, White Wolf side. Like, White Wolf. There we go. Uh, okay, we're going to go side puppy. There. So I'm going to save that one to re-upload to the gallery because that is just way too amazing. So someone take a little white wolf the pup and go ahead and carry little white wolf off to the puppy play yard. Don't worry, we saved it. We're going to upload it on our gallery. We're never going to lose this puppy because that was just too amazing. And white wolf, you suggest a lab and a jaguar mix. That also sounds amazing. So I'm going to write that down. Oh, I love how curious you guys are about all these. All right, new Petri dish, new name. We actually got to sneak in a extra name as a result there. And this is actually going to become... Oh, look at you! A little black puppy! And this is actually going to be Soul of the Wolf. What a name! I think you guys are going to be enjoying our wolf crossbreeds for sure. We're going to name you Soul. And you are actually an independent, friendly glutton who has all black fur this time around. Oh, you guys, what a fun little mix we ended up with. All right, so now that we have gone ahead and we have gotten all of our little Petri dish puppies, let's go ahead and grow them up. Blank, you're first. Ooh, Blank, you are definitely going ahead and you are pulling out just the entire African dog look. Also, as much as I think it's very exciting, no, my friend, you cannot actually have a dragon tail, so we're going to take that away. <laughs> and I love the crinkle ears. I really love this look on the African wild dog. So we have completely an African wild dog there. And for Puggle, let's go ahead and see what you grew up into being. <gasps> Puggle, you ended up with a twirly tail! Oh my gosh, Puggle, like look at how beautiful this is. This is like, oh my gosh, I always feel like I have the cherry on top of the cake when we get a curly tail on some of our animals. Puggle's amazing. We have that wolf outlook and the wolf body type with the coloration of the painted dog and somehow we ended up with the curly tail. I'll take it. Puggle, absolutely fantastic. What do you guys think? Then we have Pio and Pio, you're the only one who actually looks like a wolf in coloring. <gasps> Okay, I adore Pio's face. That is just way too cute. Holy cow. And no, you can't have a dragon tail, but I appreciate your efforts. So here we have the opposite where we have got the wolf texture, but on the African wild dog body. And it's so freaking cute. <laughs> I love those ears. Oh my gosh. Pio, thank you. Oh, that's so cute. Nightfires, you're up next, my friend. <laughs> Nightfires, you look fantastic. Very much like an African wolf. No, you can't have a dragon tail. I appreciate the efforts, though. 
absolutely wonderful, lean, ready to go, ready to investigate and help with the hunt. Then we have little fun. Who's <laughs> not so little? Fun, how did you end up looking like this? Okay, fun definitely kind of pivoted with a lot of the jeans. I have no idea how we ended up with this, but I love seeing the speckles on the fur down on its stomach. That is just so cool. Fun, you look fantastic and totally different than I thought you would. This is actually a much more varied group of, um, of uh, in appearance than I thought we were going to have. And then finally, we've got little Soul. And so look at you <laughs> with your crinkle ears and face. Oh, you guys, this was a great mix. We definitely need to do some wolf and a wild dog mixes of all sorts of varieties in the future. So leave your comments down below if you would like to become one of our potential crossbreeds in the laboratory. With all of the suggestions that you would like to see, do please consider subscribing if you want to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.